are you? Uh, I am doing so well and I'm happy to be here with you today. I know, I'm so excited to see you. So how are you dealing with the heat and how are you dealing with being staying home? You know, it's it's a little extra time indoors for sure, but it's more time for me to figure out how to take care of myself and do a little self care and learn a little bit more about the right ways to do my brows and yeah. you know, time for me, which I think is important for everyone. So did you know that our stores, all our stores, 75 stores are closed second time around? And oh my goodness. Yeah, so all our clients are stuck in their homes, no place to go to get their brows done. So I thought why not have, you know, a little session of like showing how to do the brows at home. So this That's is the best perfect. way. Yeah, this is yeah. the best way to keep keep up with your brows until they come back to us, until we take care of them. You know, we yeah, can't go everyone through needs it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the people need to know how to do their brows themselves and this is the perfect time to do it. That's true. I'm actually starting to wax my own arms and legs. <laughs> so this this is the best way to actually reach out to all our clients to show them how to take care of their brows staying at home so they don't have to worry about keeping up with their brows. The best thing they could do is like use our wonderful, beautiful products and you know, keep up with the shape so they can still feel glamorous and gorgeous even in home. For sure. And I feel like there's products out there for everyone. You know, there's all-in-one kits and then you have the individual pens and there's there's a brow product out there for everyone to learn how to use them. That's the only one that, you know, that they're comfortable with. I was so blown away by the compact packaging. Like to have your brow powders in here, to have the brow lift and the mascara, the brow gel, and the brushes. You don't need anything else. And I was just fascinated by it. So I knew that I loved these brow products as soon as I tried this one. And the, the best part about this brush is it has like angular brush on one side and it has a spoolie on the other. So spoolies to like kind of brush the brows and keep it in place because of the mascara that we have here. And you know what I thought for the mascara? I thought having a clear mascara is good because we have products here. So once a client uses the brow products, she doesn't need another, you know, coating of color. So I thought a clear mascara would be best, you know? You need to control everything, including your brows. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Could not agree more. If we can get more control in our lives, that's a good place to start. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I love also, I actually just realized this recently, that oh, there's a mirror yeah. out here. Yes, so you can it does. Use your yes. first if you want to touch up your brows. So I use a dark brown for my skin tone. What is your, what's your color? Medium brown? Yeah, I use the medium. So for the brow makeover kit, I like to start with the light shade and do it about halfway. And then I like to blend and start using the darker shade on the end of the brow. Good idea. And you can see with how I look right now, it's a huge difference from me having basically no eyebrows. Yes, you believe it looks amazing. Yeah. It's a real transformation. I have those hairs, like unwanted hairs, just below my brow bone that I usually color uh, with the brow lift. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So That's brow a good lift, one. Yeah. You know you can use brow lift on your under eyes too, it's a concealer. I've also used it for a cut crease. Oh, you did? It's so versatile, it's so good, so good. So how do you, li how do you like the brow lift? Does it stay put? Yeah, it holds really well and, and um, I haven't had any issues with it. it. It doesn't smudge, doesn't move, and it just gives such a crisp, clear definition that we all want with our brows. Yeah, you know? that's such a lovely trick. I love that. It's just like, it's soft and spreads so evenly. It doesn't get lumpy or it doesn't crease. You're the brow queen, so you oh. can't thread your own brows, though, can you? That's not possible. Well, okay, so there are, I mean, you, there are people that can thread their own brows, 
but I, I prefer to be threaded. <laughs> so yeah. I use my tweezers um, uh -huh. to pull them up. So I have a, I have, I'm very picky with my brows. So there is like, uh, I, I have a favorite girl who does my brows. So gotcha. rather keep up with the shape. Uh, I do. I would rather not like try doing anything else to it. Um, yeah. But in the meantime, I'm trying to like my brows don't really grow that crazy. So if you see, this is hard, far scarce here and there, just below the brow line. So I just use my brow lift and try to comb the stray hairs. You know. But when I'm taking uh, close-up pictures of my eye makeup, that's when I realize I'm like, girl, you gotta get that under control. <laughs> I actually don't think I've ever had my brows threaded either, um, but I've always wanted to try that. So one day when I'm able to, when everything opens up. And it, it's not as challenging as it might seem. Too. Yeah. I'm, it's something that might be a little intimidating, but really if you break it down into the steps, um, let's say you're, you are using the brow makeover kit, you have the powder, you have the brow lift, and you have the gel. So it, it's not as scary as it might seem. Yeah, it's simple. And hey, you practice a couple times and you're going to be a pro. It's, it's, uh, it only takes a couple times to learn how to do it.